Hi friends, in this video, I'm just going to rebuild the database on PSP console. If you're having any hanging problem on your PSP or if DualSense controller has been stuck and you are not able to move the cursor of DualSense controller or not able to navigate properly, we can fix that by setting this rebuild database. So how to do that? First of all, we need to put this PSP console on safe mode. For that, right on PSP console, we need to hold this power button. So just hold this power button. Everything is plugged. I have connected to TV. Then hold this PS button for two seconds. So you need to hear two beep sound. Hold it. One. Once you hear the second beep sound, right? Just take the finger. Then now we can check on TV. Super, now it is in safe mode. Now connect the controller using the USB cable and then press this PS button. So I'm going to do that. So connecting it to PSP console. So just press the PS button, you will get this options. And now I can rebuild the database. So number five is rebuild database. So I'm gonna choose that by pressing X. The database will be rebuilt. It might take a few hours to rebuild the database. So I'm going to choose OK. So it just restarted. So rebuilding database has been started. Wow, super. It's going to complete quickly. Rebuild database is successful within a minute. OK, fine. Press the PS button on your controller. So now I can remove this USB wire and I can use it. Now everything is perfect. That's all friends. This is the way you can rebuild the database on your PSP console. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please provide comments and feedbacks in my video forms. Thank you. Bye friends.